September 1st. The reading is entitled Enoch. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Hebrews 11, 5 Enoch was a public teacher of the truth in the age in which he lived. He taught the truth, he lived the truth, and the character of the teacher who walked with God was in every way harmonious with the greatness and sacredness of his mission. Enoch was a prophet who spake as he was moved by the Holy Ghost. He was a light amid the moral darkness, a pattern man, a man who walked with God, being obedient to God's law, that law which Satan had refused to obey, which Adam had transgressed, which Abel obeyed, and because of his obedience was murdered. And now God would demonstrate to the universe the falsity of Satan's charge that man cannot keep God's law. He would demonstrate that though man had sinned, he could so relate himself to God that he would have the mind and spirit of God and would be a representative symbol of Christ. This holy man was selected of God to denounce the wickedness of the world and to evidence to the world that it is possible for men to keep all the law of God. Enoch not only meditated and prayed and put on the armor of watchfulness, but he came forth from his pleadings with God to plead with his fellow men. He did not mask the truth to find favor with unbelievers, thus neglecting their souls. This close connection with God gave him courage to work the works of God. Enoch walked with God and had this testimony that his ways pleased God. Hebrews 11.5 This is the privilege of every believer today. It is man dwelling with God, and God taking up his abode with man. I in them, and thou in me. John 17.23 says Jesus. To walk with God and have the witness that their ways please him, is an experience not to be confined to Enoch, to Elijah, to patriarchs, to prophets, to apostles, and to martyrs. It is not only the privilege, but the duty of every follower of Christ to have Jesus enshrined in the heart, to carry him with them in their lives, and they will indeed be fruit-bearing trees. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.